this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Tal and John Donna. This game was played in the Netherlands in 1968. Mikhail Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Donna played e6, d4, d5, French defense. Knight to c3, bishop to b4, pinning the knight. e5, c5, a3 attacking the bishop. Bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen to c7, knight to f3, and Donna played b6. Okay, let's have a good look at this position. White's pawn structure is damaged, but white has a bishop pair and a space advantage. White pawn on e5 prevents knight to f6 and in turn makes h7 very vulnerable in case of castling king's side. What else? Black intends to keep the position closed because in a closed position bishops are not very effective. Additionally, with his last move, b6, black wants to exchange light squared bishops. If black can reach an endgame, he would be okay, he would be doing well. But before the endgame, there is a middle game. White move. Tal played a4. Bishop to a6. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes bishop. Queen to e2 attacking the knight. Knight to b8. Black got rid of white light squared bishop at a cost of a time. a5. A pawn sacrifice. Pawn takes pawn on a5. Bishop to a3. Knight to d7. D takes on c5, knight to e7, c6, a pawn sacrifice, queen takes pawn on c6. White darts to a bishop is a very powerful piece. It is preventing black from castling king's side. After 40 moves have been played, black is a pawn up. Black is also threatening to win the pawn on c3. How would you defend the pawn on c3? Tal was not interested in defending. He casted king's side. Queen takes on c3. Black is two pawns up. Rook from f to d1. Knight to c6. Of course, black would love to cast the king's side. But then bishop takes knight. So we have a knight to c6, bishop to d6. This white dark squared bishop is a real thorn in the flesh. Queen to c4, if only black can exchange queens. Tal played the queen to e3. Queen to e4, trying to exchange queens again. Queen to b3, knight to b6, white to move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? Is it easy for white? Doesn't look easy. Tal sacrificed one more pawn. Queen takes on c4. Of course, if a knight takes on c4, then queen to b7 and black would be in trouble. So we have queen takes on c4. Queen to a3. Black is three pawns up, but can't castle. Druk is coming to c1. Queen to a6, rook from a to c1, rook to c8. White move. What now? Could you win as white from this position? How would you continue if you had white pieces? Tal played knight to d2. 
this is a very interesting point of the game. In this position, player with black pieces Donna offered a draw. He is three pawns up. He offered a draw. Tal rejected the offer. It was possible that the rejection had a bad psychological effect on Donna, who made a bad move. Anyway, what is the purpose of knight to d2? Why did Tal play this move? He wanted to switch his queen to the king side. Black to move played f6, a blunder. Better was h6. It's easy to say now. And after queen to g3, rook to g8, and black would be fighting back. We have f6. e takes on f6. g takes on f6. Queen to f3, attacking the pawn. On f6. And Donna considered the king to f7 and played king to d7. If king to f7, queen to h5 check, king to g7, bishop to f4, and this doesn't look good for black. So Donna played king to d7. Queen takes pawn on f6. Rook from h to e1. White to move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? Please, pause the video and try to guess the move that Tal played. Queen to f7 check comes to mind. Tal played knight to e4. If pawn takes knight, D file is open. Donna played knight to e7. Let's see a look what happens if d takes on e4. Then a queen to f7 a check. Knight to e7, bishop takes knight, discover check. So we have knight to e7. Knight to c5 check, forking the king and the queen. What else but to capture the knight? Bishop takes a rook. Knight to c4 white move. White. Play the move when black resigned. The move is bishop takes knight. Black resigned. In view of discontinuation, rook takes bishop and then rook takes on d5 check. Knight to d6. Rook to c7. King takes rook, queen takes rook check, king to b8, rook takes knight on d6. And how can black defend? Queen to c8. And we can stop here. And let's go back to move 22, 23. If you had white pieces and you were three pawns down, your opponent with black pieces offered you a draw, would you take a draw or not? Many people would. This game shows Tal's incredible desire to win. It shows also his self-confidence and courage. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.